I'm taking a bit of time off from work uh, to be with the baby. And I had told my boss, if you need me, you know, just shoot me a text if you have any questions and uh, I'll help out. And so he said, okay, great. And then I'm getting a text like every day. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he's being, uh, he's being cool with it, but he's basically like, whenever he texts me, he says, so-and-so says you were supposed to do this and you didn't do it. And then, so I'm kind of getting stressed with these tasks texts because it's like things that aren't done people are saying i was supposed to do it and it's not really true but i don't want to get into like these big discussions because i'm supposed to be on you know on leave <laughs> so so i don't know what's the best approach here because um on a text message i'll sound like an idiot if i'm defending myself if i call them up I'm worried I'll sound defensive. So I've been thinking to just let it slide until I'm back and then deal with it when I'm back. But I don't know if that's politically smart. No, that's politically suicide. Okay. Okay, what's happening is these people are taking advantage and shifting the blame on the guy who's not here. Very common mode in office politics. Whoever's not in the meeting is the guy who gets blamed, okay? That's the way it works. You're not there, so you get blamed. So all you can do is say to your boss on the phone, say uh, whatever his first name is. What's his first name? Brad. Okay. You don't talk. You don't say Mr. Johnson, do you? You say Brad. Do you talk to him by his first name? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then I would text him and say, let's talk on the phone for a few minutes this morning, see if I can give you some insight on what I think is going on here. Okay, and then very diplomatically say what I said. And say, you know, it seems to be that the guy that is not in the meeting is the guy who's getting the job assigned to him or getting the blame. And I don't have any memory of any of those people any uh, agreeing to do any of that stuff. And I don't want to call people liars, but I certainly don't remember. Try to be as diplomatically as you can to get the point out that you think it might be the last guy, the <clears throat> whoever's not in the meeting usually gets the blame or gets the assignment. And I think there might be a lot of that going, some of that going on here. If you don't know how to say it, write it, send it to me and I'll tone it down or tone it up. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, and I want you to put your fucking suit on and stand up for the phone call with shiny shoes and a shave. I want you to look your absolute best and feel your best when you talk to this guy on the phone, you can rehearse okay. it. Re yeah, rehearse it until it's very com comfortable with it too. This is a big fucking deal. That's why my boss, the guy, made three hundred some thousand dollars a year in nineteen seventy. Just I can't even imagine what that would be now, but it'd be a big fucking number. It was a big number then. And he didn't take a vacation because he was afraid that he would get moved out of his fucking job. Okay, and he'd been in, been with Bechtel for 12 fucking years when I got there. And he was still worried about the people backstabbing him and blaming on him. Usually another salesman. So, <clears throat> who goes into the boss and says it's a great idea for how to do X, and Maury's not there to throw cold water on a stupid idea. That's what, just fascinated me. Poor cocksucker hadn't had a vacation in four years. And he was running ragged. So, yes. Later, the higher you go up the ladder of office politics, the more they come after you when you're not there. I mean, crisis is even famous in military history where certain generals don't go on vacation or they don't even leave the country, especially in Russia. They leave the country and there's a fucking coup. So it's the same type of thing, but that's, I don't know how educated your boss is, but <clears throat> certainly he knows this about office politics by now. I wouldn't use the term office politics. 